Hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I got another video for you today, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you. There's a couple people sick, but they're about to leave in a few hours, so we're okay there. Our, one of our coal piles has been depleted. That's okay. Um, we got this one over here that's relatively close. We're probably going to go for this coal next. So what I'm going to do is get some workers heading out there. And over here to keep on collecting wood. Our scouts have reached the expedition, so we can explore it. So we have two options here. Um, we enter the camp appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of exciting voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days until we couldn't go any further. Soon we'd begin to, we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surrounded us, packed and ready to go. Uh, the gloomy cave and the sturdy shelter. <clears throat> Uh, scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. We're going to go ahead and send the survivors to the city. Uh, some of them may die, but I got to keep my scouts out and uh, working. So uh, we're going to we're going to go this way towards the sturdy shelter. And then I'm going to try to loop around back to the main city here, eventually. So we should have four children, ten workers, or ten engineers, and twenty-two workers. So we'll see if any of them die when they head out there. Uh, hopefully they will not. And we're going to need some houses. So what do we have? We've got 32, 36 potential new people coming in. So we should probably get some houses ready for them. So what I'm going to do is put in some more tents. We're going to need to build at least four houses. Like so. And I'm going to have to connect them with a road. So here we go. We've got two different options here for the um, the hotels, or the uh, hospitals, the hotels. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. Or we can do this radical treatment where the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. And discontent will rise slightly. We're going to do this because <clears throat> when I was playing before, you know, in just those seven days, I found out that we can eventually get them to work again. Whereas if we just do the sustain life thing, I didn't actually see the result of the sustained life. We're going to take the radical treatments. 
If any if anybody's gravely injured, they could be amputated. Uh, basically leaving them unable to work until we can get um, prosthet prosthetics. So. The uh, temperature is about to drop massively. Even with all our advances in medicine, we have to resort to this. It may make sense, but that doesn't make it any less cruel. That's true. Yeah, so we're about to see a massive temperature drop. So cool how these houses on the kind of outer rain have snow on them because they're not warmed up. And here comes the temperature drop. We're doing fine, all things considered. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. So we can see here that it's chilly here and it's cold here. So we have a moderate risk of falling ill. Our cooks and stuff like that. Get going. Time to earn your bread. And we should see these survivors coming in in about two hours. scouts have reached the uh, shelter. We're going to explore it. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1934 miles and home, 27 miles. Uh, so we discovered the steel bridge. We're going to take those resources. And we're going to move towards the steel bridge. Double rations for kids. In the wake of a recent child worker accident, the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Uh, I really don't think we can afford it. Like, sadly. Um, everybody has to get the same rations, because we, like, we almost, literally, we had, like, zero food after seven days last time. Here come those, uh, survivors. It's our moment to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. <clears throat> okay. So we had built enough homes right off the bat. 36 people did show up, so none of those people died. That's good. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to max out these gathering points. And I'm also going to have people come over here, start collecting the steel. And there's no more wood on the map, actually. So I'll send these guys over here to start collecting this coal. Oh. This 
search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Okay. I thought there would be something new on the map, but there's not. And this building is too cold, unfortunately. We have 185 rations, which is about two days. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the children off of that. And I'm going to tell them to go over here and grab some coal while we're warming up everything. Because if they sit in there, they're just going to get sick. Alright, we've researched the sawmill. <clears throat> so what I can do here is build that. And essentially we need to... Build this somewhere where we can gather resources. Like wood. So, for instance, over here we get quite a bit. But I don't want a road in the way of the sawmill because we don't want to destroy the resources around us. So what I'm going to do is put it right here, which I think is a pretty good spot. There's got It's got a lot of wood around it, and then we're going to build a road up to it. Oh, you know what? If I put it right here, actually, it'll be is that connected? It's not. 36. 46, okay. Sorry, it's taking me. Gotta get kinda used to this. There we go. Now it'll be connected. And then we can move some people off of uh, like the coal and stuff like that and move them back on to uh, the sawmill, which will generate more and more wood. All right, we need some research here. Now it's getting colder. So what I want to do is I want to go for these heaters, I think. Actually, what I'm going to do is go for the drawing board once I get 50 wood, and then we're going to be able to expand the rain of this for just a little bit of extra coal, and that's going to make these buildings uh, much more accessible. Okay. The heaters is good, for sure. But I think I need this. This is going to help both things. Uh, housing and the... Uh, our industry. Like, our, our industry right here. Mild frostbite. A citizen became gravely ill. Oh, great. We're out of wood. It's okay, because we got the sawmill up. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. I see. Yeah, that's okay. It's not okay, but it's kind of like a necessary evil.
All right, adaption. What's probably going to happen is that somebody's going to die, but we haven't had that happen yet. So I think what I'm going to do is... I can't get this one. Maybe I'm, I'm just not ready yet. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're not going to go with that. We can sit, feed sick people extra rations to help with their recovery. Or we can get overcrowding. Our medical facilities should be fully utilized, even if we have to put patients on the floor. Uh, we're going to do this. We have a bunch of people get sick. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. It'll, uh, it'll be much better. Okay, our scouts reach the bridge. The brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winter Home in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working automaton. So we're gonna, these automatons, I, I found this out when I was playing just a little bit ago. These guys will work automatically in any building, but they have like lessened pr productivity. Um. Or we could dismantle it, which will give us heating cores and more steel. But what we're going to do is we're going to send it to the city. Um, because those they're pretty rare. Apparently. I don't know. It seems like it anyway. Uh, large convoy or weather station. Several vehicles and tents. We can see people moving between them and smoke rising from a campfire. We're going to stop here and then go to the weather station. And also, what I'm going to do... Ooh, our discontent is very high. Um, I'm going to turn an emergency shift on here. Because we need this research real bad. Okay, drawing board research. We can now research tier one technologies. What we're gonna do is do the generator range upgrade. Search for the other cities. <clears throat> the deserted bridge. Finding the bridge of Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer. There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out more. You can see here there's actually 13 people that are very sick. Um, it's really not good. But since we took on more patients, um, we can heal more people at once. Look sharp. Remember, we mustn't shrink from our duties. I just pray we get by. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright, right in time here. Generator range upgrade researched. The wood crates over here have been depleted.
what I'm gonna do is get those guys over here on the sawmill. And apparently we're not connected by a road. So all I need to do is connect one wood there. I guess you need more than just the corner. The generator range upgrade has been researched. So what we can do here It's already actually set to range two. It's helping heat these buildings. Um, what I need to do is take the kids off of here that I put on the coal. Actually, never mind. We have five available. Um, they're going to go back into the kitchens. They're going to be making more soup for us. And then for technology. few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. Ten percent faster healing of the sick. Hold on here. Or we can get more scouts. I think maybe we should go for the scouts. Alright, let's take a look. So, we still have quite a bit of coal. There's 309 here, 119 here. We've got 400 some over here, 500 here. 38 and 60 steel here. I'm thinking that we might need to get steel here sooner than coal. I think what I'm going to do is go for the more scouts. I think that's a good idea. Our scout has reached the convoy. Let's explore it. The workers who were riding to this convoy told us there were told us there we're heading to for the city of winter home um, typo <laughs> um, we were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon but we couldn't pick it up they say we tried to follow a search pattern to find it but we ran out of fuel uh, we're gonna send the survivors to the city uh, we don't have time I don't think to go and uh, like let them or like follow them back we need to go on this quest So we've got survivors coming in. There's 19. There's going to be quite a few here. Uh, 36. We've got 45 potential new colonists coming in. Uh, so we got to prep for those people, without a doubt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for another hunter's hut. like max amount of coal. <clears throat> so we're gonna need to find 10 workers somewhere over here. These are all children and engineers. More scouts have been researched, okay. Create a new scout team, and they're gonna head 
out here to the crash site. First amputation. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. We must do something about it. So we're going to go for a care house. Basically, people can live there um, and not pick up spots in the hospital. More sick beds needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. We're asking you to address the problem. I promise the sick will be treated. It'll be okay. Um, we've got two days to do this. And I think we can take care of that. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem, you're fine. If you fix your problem your way, it's fine. <laughs> we actually have zero rough. We're really glad I built this now. Uh, so we don't have the workers, but what I can do is just take a few off here. Off of the coal. And we're going to put them on the food. And I believe those workers will go out tonight and bring back more food. Alright, scouts have reached the weather station. We found, or we have to explore. We found scientist notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's not also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of winter home from the roof of the weather station. Okay, let's take the resources. We're going to winter home. We're on our way there. Discontent is like really, really bad. Cold at work, cold at home. Oh man. Frightened patient. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing the amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg, and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours person will die. person will be left as an amp. Yeah, we're going to cut off his leg. For sure. For sure we're cutting that leg off. I just realized we haven't been researching anything. Um, I think we need to go for coal mining. Coal mine extracts 250 coal per hour. Per standard workday from underground deposits. Or there's the coal thumper. Hmm. This one actually generates more. And it costs less. We're gonna go for the thumper, but we gotta wait just a minute. Until we get a little bit more wood. Apparently, this is not connected. Oh, I, I made this problem before. 
or I made this mistake before. Um, it's not connected because there's no road right here. Duh. No wonder we don't have any wood. All right, so the wood's now coming in. Crash site. This is where our expedition split up when our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. Raw food and wood. We're going to explore. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if the people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Yikes. That is scary, yo. Um, there's an observatory here. Uh, we're going to send our scouts there, and then hopefully maybe loop back around. Because I'm getting dangerously low on food. Well, actually, we're doing okay. We have about a day. Resources shortage. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this, we can enact a law that will allow us to extend working hours. Uh, what we're going to do is open up the care houses instead. New law. A new law has passed. And I'm going to go for this. I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm going to go for the coal mining. We're going to try to do this first. A recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. Few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We still have two days to take care of the ill. And a lot of these guys are getting out in about 14 hours. The steel wreckage from here has been depleted. That's 15 workers. Uh, let's send these guys here. And then we're going to start taking this steel over here. Alright, I want to go for the coal mine. There's 32 sick. Oh my gosh. Wood crates depleted. That's okay. I think a lot of these people were sick. This is like the last of the resources, really, for coal. Yeah, we need to build this care house, I believe. So I'm going to put that in. <clears throat> it's actually the same size as these houses, slightly bigger than those ones. So let's put this in right here. I think this is really going to help out with our sickness problem. Uh, right now there's three MPPs. And here comes the automaton. Nice.
Are automatons dangerous? That thing's bloody massive. What do you call that thing? An automaton? <laughs> I bet it'll do a lot to help us. Yeah, I hope so. It definitely will. Uh, you can see here, I still don't have enough food, and I'm about to have a lot of free workers. I'm kind of thinking I should get another food uh, hunter's hut going, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, we can put a third one in right here. Coal mining researched. Nice. Let's take a look here at our other researches. Um, we're almost out of steel. So I'm going to go for the steel works. Next. Okay, so we've gone into free time. What I'm going to do here is take people off of this and put an automaton on it. And then once the free time is over, then we'll assign our workers back over there. So our automaton will... I guess it's actually going to build um, for us, which is kind of cool. We got a steam core winter home. We climbed up, the, up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. Oh no. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair. Fallen squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy fight for the dwindling resources and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There's no hope. Freshwater springs. An American camp. We're on our own. We're going to go back, I think, with this guy now. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we're alone. Whoa. There's a riot about to happen. We should have stayed in London. Surely it shouldn't. They couldn't have fallen like this. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. Terrible. All these poor people. We can't end up like them. They're all dead. I must give them purpose. Okay. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in the frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterhome spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. Alright, so we have to choose a path here. We can go with order and discipline or faith and spiritual strength. And I think I'm going to go with the faith and spiritual strength. Um, I think that'll be a little bit better. House of Prayer. We need a place to practice our faith. We're going to sign that. Okay, we made it to the observatory. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the preci precious instruments and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke inside. Ooh, there's... The sun is dimming. Instead of, instead of astronomers, we, have met with by, we are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here to, for help, but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important to, for them, they wrote it up in their di they wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Okay. So that's why they went north. That's kind of weird. Interesting, at least. 
Uh, we're gonna send the survivors to the city. Oh man, we're gonna have a lot of people. I don't know. And then this guy. Well, I'll let this dude come back this way. We're gonna send this guy over to the American camp. There's 31 people sick. Oh my gosh. Um, I've got to get another medical post going, I think. It's like a must. Care house promise fulfilled. Hope rises. The care house has been established in accordance with the new law. Okay. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say that faith will save us. Nonsense. What are we going to pray for? Food when we start to starve? Trust one of them? If uh, we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like Winter Hall. The Londoners. <clears throat> Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. We'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide this city safely through the looming social crisis. There's a lot going on there. We barely made it. We've barely done anything. Uh, we still, yeah, we just desperately need to care for our sick. Okay, 24. We've, I gotta put up another medical post. I, I feel like that's a must. Londoners gain more followers. People join the Londoners. Sir, the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in, an, in our ultimate survival. Yeah, our hope is like extremely low. I don't think I put anybody over here, did I? I did not. I'm gonna take a worker from over there. Put him on here. Twenty. So we've got twenty. Oh, okay. This one's not actually. Got anybody on it? I see. <clears throat> I'm taking people off a of coal. This seems like it might be a bad idea. We've got one day left to treat all these people. Um, 13 people left. So we've got one, two, three. Oh man, it's gonna be really close. There's a lot of amputees out there. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> it's not good.
I have 89 steel. I think I need to like... Oh man. I don't know. I feel like I need to maybe abandon that, but I don't think that's a great idea. Um, we need to build some houses. We've got... Thirty-four, forty-three people. Uh, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-three, seventy-seven people inbound. Oh, this is not good. Three. We're gonna have to build some houses. All right, work time is up. Uh, we're gonna turn off the automaton. Oh, actually, I guess we're gonna keep that on. Or you know what? I can do. I can take these 12 people off of this. I can take the automaton off, and then we can go max on that. Put the automaton on this, and then have our children gathering that. Ooh, I don't know. note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to provide care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. I'm glad I could help, I guess. We've got just over 24 hours. 28 hours to be exact. I think we're going to make this promise. But what we have to do now, I think, is build the house of prayers. We got we have three days to do that. But I think I should go for the houses first. Scouts have reached the coal mine. The coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there, that, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. We'll be able to restart the mine later, or we won't be able to restart the mine later. Uh, let's only take the stored coal. Yeah. And then we're gonna head there and head back. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know about this. We got people coming in in 14 minutes and we don't really have the houses for them yet. Yep, 15 homeless. Uh, luckily we'll have the houses here soon. <clears throat> Now we've got the steelworks researched. I think what I need to do is go for the generator power upgrade. I don't have the wood. We're like dangerously. One of our people died. Oh no. 
died of unknown causes. Um, okay. Survivors reach the city. Sir, a group of survivors has reached the city. They are tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. Do we have plenty of people over here? No. We have a lot of people in treatment. An amputee's suicide. The man whose leg you ordered amputated has committed suicide. We left a note. Can't live like this. Unable to work and without a purpose. I don't want to be a burden. Just another mouth to feed. Ah, uh, we did what we could. There's really nothing else we can say about that. We did. <laughs> First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the bodies. And yeah, we uh, have to wait 12 hours in order to do that, so... Our people will build some houses over here. More people have reached the city. Oh gosh. 34 homeless. Okay. 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 Well, first things first. Uh, let's look at the research. The temperature's dropping in two days, and it's going to be way too cold for our people to survive. So we got to get this research. That leaves me 13 wood. I gotta get these churches built. Otherwise, like, a bunch of people are gonna leave. Which may not be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I mean, we don't have the food for them. People are starving. I feel like people would be happier with... The uh, houses, but I really don't know. Let's take a look at this. Thirty wood and ten steel. Put a church in over here and a church in right here. But I think I need to build those houses first. Two. Three houses are still going to have to go in. thank you guys so much for watching if you have any free time feel free to stop by the stream i would love to see you there um you guys are always welcome thanks